Hello everyone, we are going to make an animated GIF in Illustrator. This looks, it looks okay, it could be better. All right, I'm gonna show you the tools and you're gonna make prettier stuff than I have. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so to make our little uh, bubble, bubble blowing whale, um, open up animated GIF, we're gonna start with this. Uh, group it first, okay, and we could decide now, like. Basically, it's just lots of artboards with slight adjustments, okay? Then you export those adjust, uh, all those artboards to Photoshop to stitch together as a GIF. Now, a couple of things you could do. You could, like, every artboard just have a moving forward a little bit more, okay? That would do something, okay? Uh, I'm going to use a Puppet Pin tool. Now, the Puppet Pin tool, uh, it, it destroy, it kind of distorts what we do quite a bit. So, um, if you're doing this on your own, you're finding it a little bit tough. It is a little bit tough with the Puppet Pin tool, but I think it has a really cool effect. So, this is my first artboard. I'm not going to distort this one. This is one that he's going to stay the same. Now, it's going to be lots of artboards. Open up the artboards panel, and the naming convention is quite important, right? So, I'm going to call this whale, whale even. 01 and the, the naming convention has to be sequentially ordered for this to work right and you can't just put it in one um, because when you get to 10 there's a two digits not one digit okay so you can't kind of just go one two three four all the way to 10 because it freaks out when it sees oh there was just one digit now there's two so it has to be 01 if you want to do 100 different uh, upwards I hope you're not okay it's going to take a long time but you'd put in 001 okay just to get the sequence right the other thing to know is that uh, Illustrator is not made for this, right? We're kind of doing it as a bit of a hack because it's fun. Um, and because the main tool to go off and do this for something like motion graphics would be After Effects. I love it. I know it very well. So I'd go and do it in there. But I understand there's a big learning curve with that one. So, you know, if you've got skills in Illustrator, you might just stay here because, um, yeah, because you know it so well. All right, so I need another artboard. The quick way is to click hold and drag it. So I've got a second one. Cool, and what we're going to do in this one is I'm going to select it all, grab my puppet pin tool, I'm going to pin them in the tail, there, there, put them there, put them there, anywhere I kind of just want it to stay still, it depends on what you want to do, right? So this is what we're going to do, breathe in, breathe out, and we're going to do it per um, every frame, so be prepared. Um, sometimes though, I need a bit of a denser, just to have a bit more control, because I want just as kind of body popping out. All right, so this one here is just going to be a little bit out. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. Okay, go over here, grab my black arrow, back to my puppet pin tool, a bit further down, duplicate it again. Okay, there's going to be a lot of this. Now to speed up your time, um, you've got to click on it with your black arrow first, then back to your puppet pin tool. Now your puppet pin tool doesn't have a shortcut by default. If you go to edit keyboard shortcuts and click on the tools, you can go through and add your own shortcut to it. Up to you. I use Q because I think Q was the default for the lasso tool, which I never use. Okay, so that's my handy trick. Hit Q on your keyboard, get them a bit bigger. We'll do one more with us and then we'll speed it up, right? So V key, click it, Q key, down. Okay, and we're going to go to the next one. Now I'll go into super fast mode um, to do the next couple. All right, that didn't take very long. Um, now, because I got to a point where he's going to start breathing back in, right? And I could totally just manually try and do this. Or because I want it to kind of loop perfectly, what I might do is um, his breathing out is exactly the same as him breathing in, just in reverse, right? So. I'm going to try and do that. So what I need to do is to make sure we don't get lost, I'm going to name my orders here. I get really kind of confused sometimes with uh, numbers in general, but we'll speed this up. So what I want now is another few artboards, maybe another four or five. So instead of having duplicating them, I'm just going to make a new artboard. Okay, and one, two, three, four. Now, if they end up going off the page, you can just grab them with the artboard tool, hold shift, click on the ones you want and kind of move them around, it's up to you. So this is where it gets a bit inception-y. So this one is going to be whale. I'll fast forward this again.
Okay, so this is where I get kind of confused sometimes because at this distance, it's really hard to do copying and pasting because the outboards get a little mixed up. So I want this one to go there. So I want, I'm just looking at here, uh, whale five to go to whale seven. So I'm going to uh, zoom in. Okay, so whale five to whale seven. Okay, how do I get to it? Uh, I'm just gonna use this over here. For some reason it's not jumping to it. I'm gonna, there you are, seven. Cool, and I'm gonna hit Command F rather than Command V. Command F gets it back exactly where it got off the page. Cool, so the next one is, for we want from five to seven, we want now, uh, you, if you're watching this and you like just copy and paste them, uh, this is where my brain gets boggled. So I'm just gonna slowly but surely work my way through and we'll speed it up. Okay, we're back. That could be it. You might just want the breathing in. Now, to kind of get a feel for, uh, first of all, that guy ended up over the side. So what we might do just, we can reorder them. Okay, we can go into here, actually this option here and say, actually, could you make them in one line, please? Or reorder them in two columns. Okay, and click OK. I'll just order them straight up and down. So. And um, let's have a little look at way of kind of previewing what it's looking like. So with it zoomed in at 100%, Okay, or full screen, which is Command Zero, okay, or Control Zero uh, on a PC. You can just kind of toggle through this, right? So go all the way back to the beginning and hit this arrow here, next, 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 next. And this is our very exciting animation. <laughs> okay, so what I'd like to do when he starts breathing back in is I'm gonna do one last thing. You could skip ahead now, but I'm gonna get him to blow a little bubble. Um, so when he gets to here, he's gonna start blowing a bubble. And this bubble's gonna be pretty exciting. It's gonna be the same color as this. Actually, no, it's gonna be blue even. Cool, so my lips tool is he's gonna blow a big bubble to start with, and it's gonna get smaller. And I'm gonna sit it kind of about there, maybe push it behind him. Cool, so I'm gonna copy this, move to my next artboard, Command V, oh sorry, Command F, okay, to get it kind of back where you got it, or Control F on a PC. And I'm just gonna move it up a little bit using my keyboard shortcuts. Okay, and shrink it down a little bit. Um, if you're doing this kind of shrinking stuff, maybe smart guys can be a bit of a pain, so you turn those off. All right, next one. Oh, go back, copy them. Paste them. Now I'll get the, we'll get it to speed up now, so you're not watching this. Okay, and you're back. Um, yeah, very exciting, Dan. And he breathes out a bubble. Cool, so we've got our animations right, and we've made sure our naming conventions are all right in here. Now it's about getting these upwards out and into Photoshop. Uh, it's easy enough, go to File, go to Export, and we're gonna use this Export Screens. Okay, make sure they're all selected. Okay, and I'm putting mine into a folder called Whale on my desktop. You put yours wherever you like. And in terms of the resolution, uh, keep it high now. We'll we'll cut it down in Photoshop later on, so we'll make it um, PNG, JPEG. It doesn't really matter at this stage. Okay, and um, let's make sure there's no prefixes, just one scale. Yeah, make yours look like mine. Let's click Export Upboard. And you'll see in here, I've got my sequentially numbered. You could name them afterwards, okay? It doesn't matter, you don't have to do it in Illustrator. But now the trick is in Photoshop, okay? Go to File, Open. Click on the very first one, so 01, and click on Options. And this is the magic trick, okay? You can say, I would like 01 and check if there's a sequence. Click Open. If you've numbered them correctly, it won't have an error. If, there's, if it's, you can't even miss one. If you've got, if you're missing 04, it'll freak out. Now frame rate, you can come back here and try this a couple of times. There's ways of overriding it afterwards, but 30 frames per second is fine. Now in Photoshop, the trick is to go to Window, uh, Workspace, and switch it to Motion. Weirdly, Photoshop does some pretty cool video stuff, video editing, okay? Um, but for the moment, what we wanna do is, let's just hit the Play button here, okay, to see what our thing does. And that is our super exciting animation. Now at the moment, it's happening a bit fast, okay? So um, there's two things. One is if yours is really hardcore and Photoshop can't play it back because it's freaking out, um, you can go to resolution, turn it to 25%, and it looks worse up here, but it, um, it exports just fine, okay, if it's slow. 
mine's looking fine because it's quite simple. Next thing you'll do is right click it and this is at speed. You can speed it up or slow it down. So if you want to speed it up, crank it up um, and it shrinks down, right? But if I want to uh, slow it down, it weirdly doesn't jump back out. That's the weird thing. So if I slow it down to maybe, I don't know, the lowest is 25%. Yeah, let's go 25%. I have to drag this out. Zoop. Just keep dragging until you get the whole thing. Okay, so you might have to drag it twice like I did there. Just keep dragging it until it's all the way out because otherwise, there it is there, it goes out to 14 frames. So um, you can zoom out this way, Dan, that's better. <laughs> Just drag the end out. So now I can see it all. Hit play, it's probably too slow now. Yeah, too slow. <laughs> After all that, 50%, it shrinks down fine, but remember it doesn't go up. Just drag the end out. Now it's about exporting it. Okay, you don't have to do a GIF. We are, we are doing a GIF because GIFs are cool. Um, and they're easily, you know, you stick them in social media and they play automatically on lots of websites, okay, Facebook included. Now, um, what we're going to do um, is file. We'll do the X, we'll do the uh, GIF way first. So go file, export, and we're gonna have to use this uh, old school safer web version. Okay, file export safer web. And up the top here, preset. Depending on the quality and size, you'll have to play around with this one. It's either um, any of these options work, okay, for export. Basically, the more numbers you have, 32 looks fine for my. If you've got a really detailed graphic, it might have to get up to 122 colors. Sorry, 128, but the file size is going to be a lot bigger. So I'm keeping mine small. Everything else you can play around with, it makes very little difference. The big thing that does make a difference is looping. You can loop once or forever, that's what we want. Hit play, it doesn't, it's not a good representation here in uh, this kind of export window, so don't sweat it if it's not quite right. Then we hit save, and we're gonna call this one whale gif. Very exciting. It's taken us a while, and a bit of a disjointed class, I know. Uh, <laughs> just like, uh, yeah. Anyway, so I've got my GIF, it's on my desktop, I've hit spacebar on my Mac. Oh, look at him doing all his GIFness. Now there are some artifacts up here, that's just from the uh, Puppet Pin tool. I didn't really kind of take much notice of them, I should have fixed that up before I carried on, but there's my bubble blowing, it's kind of, yeah, it's okay. Um, you can also do a video version. So back here in Photoshop, there's an export, no, is a generate, no, export render video. Okay, and in here, when it eventually pops up, we're gonna we're gonna export an MP4. It's a really common format. Okay, so we'll have whale dot MP4, and down here we're gonna use Adobe Media Encoder, um, and it's going to be the format H.264 is the most common one to use. Okay, it gives you an MP4. On my Mac here, I could do QuickTime as well. Now quality ratings, you can play around with this. You can get quite low because um, ours is such a simple um, animation. In terms of the speed, you can call it with this. 30 frames per second is gonna play like it did originally in Photoshop. The lower you go, the more jumpy it is, but the slower it plays. Okay, so up to you how you wanna do it. I'm gonna leave mine at 30. Click render, kick back and relax depending on how long it is, and let's check it in. Um, my desktop, there's my MP4. I'm gonna double click him, and Genius. <laughs> it's not looping though. But yeah, that is how to do animation in uh, Adobe Illustrator. Now there are lots of other things you could have done. Um, is our bubble blowing whale exciting? No, um, but you know, it's, you got the tools now, right? It could be moving, lots of things could be moving around. Um, you could use a puppet, pull, uh, puppet tool, you could use the liquify tool. There's lots of things you could do to your animation. Um, just make sure that the sequence numbering is correct. And then once you get into Photoshop, you can export the GIF or MP4. All right, so it's the end and it is uh, homework time. Okay, I want you to do something better than what I did. Uh, you can use the whale, that's fine, or something else we've drawn in this class, or anything you'd like. I'd love to see your animation, okay? Post it to me on the website here under your projects, and yeah, or on social media. All right, I'd love to see it on Instagram, I'm Bring Your Own Laptop, and on Twitter, I'm Dan Loves Adobe. All right, friends, uh, let's get on to the next video.